Morning YouTube, welcome to the start of my day. So I thought I'd do a video on my routine, my daily routine as I start my day in the morning. So the time is now half past eight in the morning, it's Monday. Um, and I'll show you what I do every time I log into my computer um, in the morning on a daily basis. So I boot up my web browser, as so. I go to my eBay seller hub and then I go to my active listings. Okay, so now I'm in my active listings. The first thing I do is I click on time left here and this will list the items I've got for sale in the order that they're going to end. So if I click um, this once I will get the um, all the listings that are going to end in the next few hours. Now usually I do my sell similars around sort of nine o'clock time. So usually it's things are ending at half past eight. They're usually ending in the next half an hour or so. Today they're ending in about four hours time, but that's fine. Um, so what I generally do, if they're in red like this, it means they're ending soon. I try to leave them up until quite last minute. So I will leave these on there um, for a little bit longer because items get a boost um, during the last few hours of the of the listing so these are worth keeping on there but what I can do I'll end I'll end three of them to give you an example of how I do things um, I'll end a few of them actually so if I end all these ones that are ending here so I'll get in that one that one that one that one and that one and I click end here go to actions and I click end and then it gives me a list of all the ones that are going to end and I click end listing usually takes a few moments especially if you've got a long list of items um, to do as you can see that's it now done you have successfully ended your listings so then I go back to my seller hub. So this time I'm going to go to my unsold items um, by clicking here. And this will show all the unsold items. Um, and as you can see, the ones I ended earlier are here. So I'm going to go ahead and list these again. So what I shall do, I shall click this, this and this. And as you can see, I have available quantity and initial quantity. Now I set this up um, like this because when you sell similar, it will default to the original quantity that was on the listing. Um, so it's important to know whether that changed during the lifetime of this item, um, because otherwise you could, could have had two originally, sold one of them, so you've only got one left in stock and then you um, sell similar and it will list two again and then you're in a few months time when the both they both sell you'll find out you haven't actually got one of them to actually post out um, so it's important to see if there's a discrepancy between the available quantity and the initial quantity um, if there isn't you can just go ahead and sell similar um, without any issues if there is then you probably want to go in there manually which I usually do go in there manually and alter the quantity to the new quantity um, that you've that you've actually got in stock. And it's also a good time at that point if you've got something that um, you know you've got several of. It might even be worth doing a little stock take on that item just to check that you've still got three or four of them, or whatever it, wherever it is. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to click sell similar. It's important to um, click sell similar. Um, rather than relist because if you click sell similar you get a new um, boost so click sell similar it then processes the listings 
and here they come up here and what I will do here generally I will check a few things um, to see if it's worth me um, changing the price or anything like that and what I might do here is might drop that by one pound that one just to reduce it slightly um, they've all got best offer on what I normally do here is I highlight them all and I turn off promoted listings because what I don't want to do is I don't want to sell similar with a promotion on mainly because I don't trust the system to do it at 1% which I usually run at um, so I always like to create a new um, promotion um, with all my items but usually on a weekly basis I end it and I start it again at 1% so I don't like to add anything to a promotion automatically when I sell similar. Um, there's also something else I might do here, I might check the postage, um, I can adjust um, the start time. Now something I sometimes do um, if I, I don't want to actually list things straight away um, I will set a start time. Now what I do here is you can highlight them all and I will click schedule. Now if you've got a normal store, um, a basic store, then you will be, will be charged to schedule your listing so you, you won't want to do this step. Um, if you've got a featured store or above you get free scheduled listings so um, you can go ahead and schedule it for I'm going to say 9, 10 so then next cycle next month um, when when I come to get up um, go into my office they're not going to be ending at um, it's 20 to 9 now they're not going to be ending at 20 to, 20 to 9 um, they'll end after 9 because I always make sure I get into my office just before 9 um, and then I've got time to do all of this sort of stuff before these um, items automatically um, relist and what I generally do I usually space out by one minute just so things are ending at a separate time and also listing at a separate time um, just because I think that um, the eBay algorithm that you know it will consider there's lots of items going boom 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 on eBay um, throughout those minutes and I reckon that gives you a boost but of course we don't know whether that's true or not um, but you can also set these to um, sell similar on any of these days. Now what I often do um, is when towards the end of the week as I'm doing this I'll get things to, um, instead of doing it in a month's time I will, um, instead of making them go live that day I will set them to go live on a Saturday or a Sunday so generally I have 10 items that are going live on the Sunday and the Saturday um, via scheduled listings because I don't generally list on those days sometimes I do um, depends on, on how busy I am and stuff but um, if I can schedule them then that means that every day um, 365 days of the year something is going live on eBay on my eBay store and I think that's really important to help boost your um, store to eBay um, so I could quite easily set this to Saturday um, and then I'll have these three items going live on Saturday um, but I will be doing that later on in the week so I'm going to set them to go live um, at 10 past 9 today which is in about half an hour's time and they're going to space these three items out at one minute intervals so one's going to go live at 9.10, next 9.11 and the next one 9.12 and then I will click save and close and then we're good to go so I think they're all um, ready to be listed um, occasionally I might edit the title tweak the photos depending on whether I think it's it needs it um, these items only went they were brand new items that last cycle so they've been on there for about a month and they haven't sold they are long tail items anyway and they're decent descriptions so I'm just going to go ahead and submit all.
no confirm. I'll always check the price here as well, check that that's zero. Um, click confirm. And they've been submitted successfully. The total fees are zero. So I can click OK. And now you'll see I'm back in my seller hub. And I have these three items that I listed. Now it's important to go ahead and remove these now from your unsold items. So you just highlight them again, click action, and you click delete. I will get around to doing the same with all these other listings that, that are in the um, unsold um, item here. Now the next thing I'll do is as part of my normal routine on a, on a weekday, is go back into my seller hub into active listings and I'll click on send offers um, because I've got 10 um, items that I can send offers to watchers all these items here so what I'll generally do I'll highlight them all I'll click send offers and I'll give a percentage off and this morning I'm going to give a 10% offer on all those items so it's quite a good deal for somebody who, who wants um, one of those items and I'll just go ahead and click send. So now I've um, sent the offers to all of those um, interested buyers and I do that every morning and I do it throughout the day as well. What I might want to do now is add items that I've listed recently as a promotion. So to do that you go to your promoted listings manager in the seller hub and create a new campaign. Select items in bulk and as you can see I've got 31 items that I can promote so I'm just going to highlight them all there. Click continue and I'm going to apply the same ad rate to all my listings and I'm going to set it to 1%. Click continue campaign 2 that's fine and then launch and it's as quick as that quick as that on a Monday morning and um, then you can see campaign 2 is starting I've already got campaign 1 um, and then probably at the end of next week I will end all of these campaigns and restart them I think that's important as well because that gives your um, items a bit, a bit of a boost again um, so yeah that's my um, daily routine and then once I've done all that every morning I'll start listing new items on eBay um, throughout the day again when you know if I list them throughout the day then next month um, at some point I will come in at the start of the day and those items that haven't sold will be ending they'll be highlighted in red they'll get reprocessed and rechecked over it's basically the same as what used to happen before um, the good till cancelled was forced upon us um, I used to have 30 day cycle items so every 30 days items would have just ended and then I would have sold similar um, but now there's that extra little step where you've got to highlight them and end them uh, manually um, sometimes I forget sometimes I'm away and I can't do it um, that's fine, um, I'll just do it the following month. Um, some people don't like to do this um, until a few months have gone by, gone by. Some people don't even do it until a year. Um, but I, I like to do it every month because I've got items that are unique. They're not things that um, are mainstream that, that I need a Google thing for or anything like that. I think people are generally searching for the item on eBay for my sort of stock, so um, having that boost and stuff benefits me. If I was selling, I don't know, um, a big bulk of cosmetics or or something like that, I, I you know, I'm, I might have that as something that's always running all the time. Or if I had something that's um, multiple quantity, um, for example, I've got uh, uh, something in stock that I've got a hundred of. And I will leave that item um, up all the time. I won't sell similar on that one because I get the sales history and I get um, the ranking on Google and that sort of thing. So 
um, I'm happy to leave that item up unless it goes completely stale I might consider relisting it then um, but generally I will leave that sort of thing just on there um, for a long time because um, when you get the sales and the sales history on that sort of thing it will get a boost naturally anyway so um, so yeah that's my um, little um, routine I do every morning um, I hope you found it useful hope you might adopt something similar may not be the best way of doing things um, but it seems to work for me and I, I get I seem to get some sales from from doing that sometimes I sell similar and then that day something sells whereas it's been on there for like a month or more previously and it hasn't sold so of course we never know whether it would have sold anyway um, but I, I just like to do it it's also a good start to the day it gets me into the eBay sort of um, I'm in, my, in my mind I'm, I'm on my eBay store I'm processing stuff and I'm getting on with my listing so um, it works quite well um, so yeah so thanks for watching if you like the video please um, think about subscribing and I'll see you in the next video bye for now Thank you.